God. Look at, <laughs> look at this snot rocket. Look at that. Look at, <laughs> look at the snot. It's like a slinky. <laughs> Boys, today we are back in Shell Beach, baby, with the one and only JB. We are going fishing tomorrow. Don't know what we're going fishing for. It might be tuna, it might be swords, uh, it might be grouper. But check out this. I had to stop before we got to his house. This might be the baddest commercial boat I've ever seen. Quads on an oyster boat. That is bad to the bone. Check that out. I think that's so cool. Brand new, beautiful boat. Such a cool fishery here. Such a cool commercial fishery here. Crab boats, oyster boats, all kinds of stuff. I'm really excited to be back. Shell Beach is an awesome change of pace. From Venice, um, you know, more of a campy feel. Less of a icky, grimy feel that you get in Venice. Both have their perks, but I just, I just love coming to this place. But tonight we're gonna have a steak dinner. Gonna get some tackle ready, and I'll see you guys in the morning. It's kind of like somebody saying, hey, did you catch a fish today? And they're like, well, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know, this is my kind of fishing right here. Alrighty, boys and girls, this is hopefully gonna be like the flip-flop. Opposite of the last video I did with JB. We had the big swordfish last video, had a gigantic um, yellow edge. We only caught one, but it was huge. But, well, I mean, we caught a swordfish of a lifetime for the goal. But uh, hopefully we get on the deep water species here. We just randomly went across this new spot and said, hey, we're right here, we're passing it. We were gonna go inshore and actually catch Red Snapper. Red Snapper about to close, so that was probably gonna be our last hoorah for the season. But we were, we're in 1200 feet and just seen this massive mound and it marked really, really good. And so we're stopping on it and we, were, we, we got it into bit. So here we are, deep water species. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we did catch a sword by the way. Yeah. 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 Impressive mark. That's the average fish. All right, 150 foot left. Um, I don't know it. We're out here honoring the great and now unfortunately like Jimmy Buffett. We've been listening to the, the Margaritaville radio all day long. So the island man is blessing us today with some with some good fish i wish i could have seen that man in concert my parents have seen him a couple times alex has seen him twice that's one thing i will never say that i'll be have ever done all right you can hold it right there but uh here he comes bet it's a catfish big catfish probably, come off probably a black drone he came off Seems like an okay spot. <laughs> all right we lost that other one but now we're Dewey, we're Dewey doubled. You're not moving anymore. Nice. Nice. This one is pulling very hard. That one I think, that one I think is a long tail sea bass or a golden tile fish. We're gonna find out. Either way, both are really cool and very good to eat. Okay. This one I think is a grouper. <laughs> I'm gonna try to not pull it off with this beastly MP3000. Yep, see you in 30 minutes, gang. This one's almost here. Oh man, still fighting. Wow. You're still fighting? Yeah, he's still fighting. B, a group of. B, B, a group of. Oh. We got top shot. Yeah. yeah I see it. You see it? Oh, I see it. Get ready to reel. Cut off. Yep, it's gonna stop. All right, we got that. It's cool. a fish, creature of the deep. Golden tile? Golden. Is it a golden? I don't know. Oh, it's a, what is it, a baby barrel fish? We got a shark over here. A dang goblin shark? I was worried about that. But we got a barrel fish. That is the cutest little barrel fish I have ever seen. But these are about the best taste of fish in the ocean, and that's a fact. This is one of the best tasting things that swims. There we go. I want to get I want to get more of these. That's what we're marking up in the water. All right. So this is a this is one of the more evil fish that you can get. This is called a spiny dogfish. They look wild. It's one of the sharp few sharks animals that have like barbs. They have double barbs, and they're super duper toxic. And if you get stuck by him, it's bad news. So, he gets the catfish flipper. It's pretty wild. This is actually the first one I've caught in Venice. 
there's like similar sharks to these called goblin sharks uh but this actually that's like the first spiny dogfish i've i've caught here that's pretty cool i'm gonna use the catfish flipper to get them off and then we're gonna make another drift well hold on before you get back to the video i have to thank this video sponsor DraftKings, baby nfl fans the season is heating up with big plays and even bigger wins with this video sponsor DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the NFL. And I'm here to share an exciting offer to you right now. New customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, no sweat bets up to $150 in bonus bets if your NFL bets lose. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and sign up using my promo code JOVTFISHING. And that is right, new customers bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Plus a no sweat bet each NFL game day, up to $150 in total bonus bets if your NFL bets lose. Whether you're a Saturday college football fan or a diehard NFL guy, DraftKings has betting options for you. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with same game parlays, combining multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. So download DraftKings Sportsbook now. New customers use my promo code JOVTFISHING, bet $5 on any wager, and get $200 in bonus bets instantly, plus no sweat bets, up to $150 in bonus bets. That's promo code JOVTFISHING, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Theirs is almost here. I just cooked on some giant. Don't know what it is. Not it's really it's excited about it. Giant barrel, yeah! Stop, barrel. Big barrel, boys. Oh yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Don't. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got the weight. I got the weight and everything. Oh, we He's not going nowhere. <laughs> I got him. You got him. And then we got all kind of stuff. We may have you. All right. There's someone there. grab. There's someone there. start reeling on that other reel. Reel your reel. Reel. Hand me the. Uh, Never mind. Actually, I actually don't think there's anything on there. But we got a big barrel. That's a big again. One. Look at that. This is a real size barrel fish. Let's get them in. Let's get a picture with them. They're super, super soft, but they're really, really grab slimy. Them. Grab them by the gills. Where you want to grab them at? Yeah, the gills? Just like a regular fish? Look at eyes. That's it right there. Well, hold them up. Take a picture with them. That's a cool fish. That is seriously one of the best tasting fish in the ocean. Yeah, take a picture with them. Yeah. Squishing his eyeballs, man. Yeah, hold them by the gills. At least yeah. some bajazzles, at least some yeah. Yeah. Slimy. Yeah, there you go. That's much better. There you go. Hold them up more. Slime. Yeah. There you go. Very cool. Slimy bowl. Yeah, he's slimy. Nice. Cover him in ice. You gonna re nice. reset before we drop again? Or yes, what? we are. Right. We're gonna catch some more of them tasty sons of guns. I can see where this would be fun if you're nailing these things. Oh, yeah. This gonna pull hard. Oh, boy. Man. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. I was looking at you. <laughs> How about that? I like that. Oh, tasty critter. It's a big one, huh? Catfish. <laughs> Five minutes later. Heck yeah, man. This is a Hold still. Okay, now. Now you feel like you really calm. Nice. Oh, blow out. Oh, maybe they do have air bladders. Woo! Nice. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Over the rail in the barrel pail. Got him. Good work. All right. Let's spin, nice. spin your pole. That's a big one. Get the net. Get the yeah. Net. Holy. That's big, big one. Yeah. Barrel ball. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, he's a big old boy. Woo! I got him. Not that black drum. Nice. That away? Hold on. Hold on. Nicely done, gang. Love to see you. All right. How about you? Another set. Ooh. Light, 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 light drag. Nice. Alrighty. It is the next day. We got some black belly rosefish. Very, very good to eat. Part of the scorpion family. Uh, got a black belly. 
Also, we got a large specimen on this. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
We're tangled, but we got one. Oh, anybody got the tattoo? Yeah. No, I got There's two fish. Nope. No, that's the one. Nice. Barrel bowl. All right, I'm going to deal with this tangle real quick. Got another one. You get the idea. All right, we proceeded to crush the barrel fish, but how many times do you need to see electric grills bringing up barrel fish? Here's some scenic video from the past couple of days. We went in, filleted most of the fish, but we kept some fish for the following morning. And here we are. Oh god. Look at, <laughs> look at that snot rocket. <laughs> look. <laughs> look at that. That is gross. That is Oh my god, look at this. Look at this, dude. This is look at that. Dude. That's gross. I don't even want to get it on the like I don't want to get it anywhere. I, I don't want to get it anywhere. Watch out. This dude's about to oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Alright. Big old slime ball you saw us take. Yeah, look at the slime. Huh? <laughs> it's like a slinky. <laughs> that's gross. However, that's about good the goodest, the best tasting fish there ever was. Sorry, mom. My mom's gonna roll over for that one. But it actually cut pretty similar to a snapper, except that uh it has softer pin bones, but pretty much just like cutting a red snapper. A little bit easier to roll the rib cage. Right over top like that. Gonna tuck down underneath right here. Punch over. Yeah, it cuts almost identically. To a red devil. Go over here, pop the pin down. A little bit easier, and you roll the rib case the whole way down. Get all that belly meat. Ooh. And there, and there on the other side of the slime is about the best taste of fish you will ever, ever, ever get the chance to eat. This is only the second time I've had the uh, opportunity to eat barrel fish. And as most of you guys know, I'm not like the biggest fish eater. I'd rather eat shrimp and crabs. But when I saw that thing come up yesterday, I was excited to eat it. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the kitchen with old Captain Alex. Okay, gang, we got some beautiful barrel fish with a little bit of home mix. Blackening with uh, paprika, cayenne, salt, pepper, and some chili flakes. Yeah, this is going right in the grease, right there. Do these big pieces first, do these little pieces second. This is going to be real good. And also, we have a very special uh, Venice Mall meal coming at you. We got the uh, macaroni shells and the Velveeta out the bag. We just browned some deer meat. We got a can of Rotel. This is about as south-southern Mississippi, Louisiana, East Texas, as you can possibly get. Just throwing it all in, mixing it up, and it's going to be really good. And it's going to be really good with this stuff, too. But we'll show you how all that goes in a minute. Oh, yes. Let's try this. Make sure this is all good. Pretty wonderful, Mr. Soul. Leave a comment if you absolutely despise Velveeta and you're too bougie for it. I, I don't mind it at all. Judge me, I don't care. It's gonna be real good. Fake cheese. Fake cheese. Fake real cheese. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna mix that all in there, boy. Deer meat surprise. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna keep mixing that. And we're gonna be flipping this. And this is about to be 
about as good of a meal you could possibly have homemade with small ingredients and fish from Venice, Louisiana. Yes, sir. That's what's looking pretty amazing right there. Who would have thought Rotel and mac and cheese would be a thing? Not me. Not me, Sue. Oh, we're gonna give her the big flip. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty perfect there, Cap. Yes, sir. All right, Chef Alex, do us the honors. Oh, yeah. That is gonna be awesome. Oh, throw a couple more on there, but those are what we gonna be eating. Here we go. The Venice Mall Special plus the deep water special coming in hot. I'm taking this little chunk too. I guess I need a fork to get this, huh? We got those. We got the forks. I'm. I already had barrel fish yesterday, but I'm very excited to try this. Man, that's pretty unreal, actually. That's tough to beat. I want to eat this so I can go back and eat more of that. That's about a wise of a fish, white of a fish as you can get. Hmm. His texture is so firm, it's just so good. Our little seasoning is very good too. Alex has never eaten barrel fish before. What do you think? Pretty good. You don't have any comments, questions, concerns? None for you. None for me, he says. Okay, thank you very much. Well, guys, thank you so much for another wonderful episode. Cooking mall meals with Captain Alex and Captain Joe. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe. Uh, you can also join memberships below. Thank you for the support. I love you guys. See you all next time. Goodbye. I'm about to eat more of this mac and cheese. Woo!